so you're Steve Wilson, Wilson from Tower, Steve, Minnesota. Tower, and you drove all the way down to Cloquet for this. How long did it take you I to did. get here? It was about an hour and a half. Well worth it, though. It, I mean, I have to say, all the candidates are impressive. Um, Do you, um, is there an issue that particularly um, got you to be here? Are you a delegate? Are you involved in the party? I am a delegate to the Congressional District Convention coming up. And um, so I wanted to, I, I knew a lot about Leah Pfeiffer, who I've been supporting, but I wanted to learn Candidates, let's start about the other two. candidates as well. And uh, I, I'm still love Leah Pfeiffer. She's confirmed what I already knew about her, which is that she's a policy wonk, which a lot of people don't go for, but I, she's, she's incredibly knowledgeable about the issues and very thoughtful. It's obvious she spent a lot of time investigating, researching, and coming up with solutions that are going to work. Uh, there's not a lot of rhetoric that comes out of her. It's, it's actually solid information, solid plans, and I've been waiting for a Democrat. I've lived in the 8th Congressional District for since I was 21, I'm 67 years old now. And all those years I've been waiting for a progressive Democrat, congressional candidate who is strong on the environment. We've never had one. And she, she's balanced. Um, you know, she comes from a mining family. I worked in the mines. Uh, I, I worked driving a logging truck. And we have similar perspectives. We can see both sides of the issues. Um, we're not knee-jerk. And just in the direction that a lot of our other uh, representatives have been. She's very thoughtful on that issue, which I appreciate. Well, thank you. Aaron, um, what got you to come here? Where are you from? I'm living in Moose Lake, and I came here tonight because I'm familiar with some of the candidates and some of the candidates I wasn't familiar with. I wanted to hear in their own words where they stood on the issues. And what um, have you heard that most impressed you or, or struck a chord with you? Um, you know, I'd heard Leah Pfeiffer before. I've been real impressed with her with the detail of knowledge that they know. Joe uh, Radinovich, same thing. Um, you know, a lot of them, I think they're pretty similar on all the issues so far, but I, I'm just impressed, especially with those two, with the detail of knowledge that they uh, brought with them. Uh, partly because of their backgrounds. You know, they were held positions where um, they, they worked with a lot of these is issues, or, or at least in a position to get real knowledgeable and informed. Thanks. Um, would you like to talk about it? Okay. Thanks okay. so much. Looking forward to part two. Custer. Custer, thank you. My name is John Fisher Merritt. Well, it's good to see you. I've seen you over the years at the co-op. I know you're the second half of our form. I'm a semi-retired farmer. My son is now a main farmer. So, what? Um, how long did you travel to get here today? About 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And anything strike you as really interesting about this tonight? Do you know the candidates, or do you have a favorite, or is there an issue that got you most? I do have a favorite. Leah Pfeiffer is my favorite. I think we need a young person and preferably a woman. Uh, in this, uh, as, as our legislator, and she is on the ball, and she's full of fire, and I think she's going to make a wonderful uh, congressperson. What do you think about um, when it comes to farm issues? I know that as a farmer, you're pretty clear about um, issues like turning tiles and waste that comes off the farms. Uh, well, being an organic farmer, we don't really do any pollution. Actually, we installed a, a dam to catch runoff off of our fields to prevent uh, polluting the Nemaji River. And uh, so, you know, we're we're completely happy with the way the, the orga our organic system is working. Um, I'm not sure, you know, I, 
I know that there's a lot of agricultural pollution, and I think the worst agricultural pollution is from uh, runoff from uh, nitrogen fertilizers. Uh, lots of wells in the, in greater Minnesota and the down on the farm country are are polluted with nitrates. Looks like it's going to start up. Again. Okay, folks, thanks for sticking around for the second half.